An alias is an alternative name for a rem, which you can use as a reference. There are two ways to create an alias for your rem, and I'll demonstrate them both. I'll create one for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This is a very cumbersome name to write out every time, and I'd rather use the common abbreviation NSAID. So first, I'll create a concept rem by the name non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Then I'll create a reference to that rem. I can select the reference, hit enter, and then type the desired alias. And now it will be fully linked to the original reference as you can see by a hover of my cursor. Notice what it did to the original rem. This is the second way to make an alias. The second way is to type forward slash alias on any rem to apply the power up where you want to add an alias. Here you can visualize how NSAID was added as an alias for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. For another example, I'll use myocardial infarction. I'll use forward slash alias to add the power up and type in the alias heart attack. Notice how you can add many aliases to any particular rem. And when you want to reference this rem later on, you can instead type in any of the aliases and it will perfectly link them to the original reference point. You can track all the linked locations by hovering your cursor over the original rem and all the linked aliases on their specific rem. The workflow options for aliases are enormous, and you can take them in whichever direction suits your workflow best. I'll provide a couple more examples of how you might want to use them. You can use them for different languages. For example, the word dog in Spanish is perro, in German is hand. You get the picture. You could also use them to describe different word tenses, such as humble, humbling, humility, more examples can be found on our update page of RemNote, but have fun with the aliases.